welcome to our annual 2K TV holiday episode. I know Christmas is a time everybody's watching NBA games, but I'm most looking forward to Celtics and Nets. And like the whole world, we can't wait to watch KD return to the court. We caught up with him for a one-on-one -on -one during the off-season over Zoom. Take a look. Let's be true, Chicago Bulls! At power four, standing six foot eight, number 21, Thaddeus Young. Starting at the other forward position, standing six foot eight, number 22, Otto Porter. At the point guard position, at six foot three inches, number zero, Cody Knight. At center, standing six foot eight, number 34, Wendell Carter. At the other guard position, at six foot six inches, number eight, Zach Levine. for joining us for this Valentine's Day presentation of the NBA. It's a matchup you're going to love. And before we get going, let's hear from David Aldridge on the sideline. David? Kevin, thanks. Well, among the league's deadlier weapons now is the step-back jumper. Steph Curry said, you're always in control of the situation with that move. It is pretty effective. Portland's Damian Lillard said, it's a tough off-balance shot, so it takes a lot of work. But people around the league are putting in that work to become even more effective. Guys? Thanks, David. Here are the starters for Milwaukee. Middleton and Giannis are the forward tandem. George Hill out there with Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Lopez in its center. And for the Bulls. And small forward and powerful. Porter and Young. White and Levine team up in the backcourt. And it's Carter in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Greg, we're still involved in the conference system. Does it hold relevance as we're looking here at the standings midseason? You know, for travel distance, yes. And, and there's also some tradition at stake. I, I mean, look, the, that said, in a perfect world, you'd like to see the best 16 teams make the playoffs each year. But we've had, you know, imbalance in conferences forever. So that's not going to change. Uh, but sometimes change is just necessary. How about quickly for the playoffs? Would you like to reseed and take the top 16s, 1 through 16? I would. I think that'd be a great idea. Hill has the open look. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. And Hill's a player whose shot has to be respected. And here's Levine. Pass to Carter. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Levine with it. Kumbo grabs the miss. And now here comes Anna Kumbo leading the break. And he banks in the layup. It's just hard to match up with Antetokounmpo's speed, especially in the open floor. Looking at the last game for Milwaukee, it was a loss to Orlando. Back to White. On the wing, Levine. Outside, Porter. Just five to shoot. On the stripe, that one drops for him. In between game of Porter continues to improve a legitimate score from this area. The pass to Lopez. It's back to Hill. And here in the first, closing in on two minutes play. White with the defensive effort. Porter looking it over. Pass to White. Back to Porter. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. I mean, well, look, Porter is an athletic player, someone who forces contact on his way up. Bulls shooting their first shots from the stripe in this game. 
in taking a look at their free throw statistics on the season, uh, right around 74%. First one falls for him. You know, the versatility of Porter is huge. I mean, he's an outstanding perimeter defender, in addition also to being a proven scorer. And so he hits both. The first quarter of action, two minutes in. Hill passes to Anadokounmpo. Middleton against Porter. 16 feet away. Outside Hill. Down to five on the shot clock. And the layup falls. Hill's got five. But just a terrific athlete, George Hill, showing the body control there to go chest to chest to finish. Right the pass to Porter. And here's Levine. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. Yeah, that's going to draw a whistle every time down the floor. Not even close to being a legal screen. And, and he knows it too. He tried to get away with it. Sometimes you do. That time he did. Anadokounmpo kicks to DiVincenzo. Middleton outside. Yeah! Rebound collected by Levine. He makes a lot more of those than he misses. Not sure what threw him off right there. Hill against Porter. On the wing, Levine. Can't tie it up as that one's no good. Bucks leading by three. And we heard Shaquille O'Neal bestow his Superman nickname on Giannis Antetokounmpo, and rightfully so. The Greek freak, the most dominant paint scorer since Shaq himself. Pass to White. And it's Brook Lopez with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. And watching Antetokounmpo get to the rim can... G.A., take your breath away. <laughs> Man, he can go around you, through you, or literally jump right over you. Call him the freak, Superman, what have you. But none of it feels like an exaggeration. And it's slammed in by Young. Well, easy look provided by Carter Jr. Always helps when your bees can move the rock. It's stolen by Carter. Last break, here comes Chicago. Levine wide open. He nails it, and we're tied up. Yeah, he doesn't play around. If the buck is there for him, he's going to get it. Hill looking around. Shot clock at six. And that one is good. Hill's got seven points. Always looking for the high percentage bucket. Hill got that one right to the wall. Outside, Levine. It's Porter. Outside, the shot misses. The Bucks go the other way with it. Last game matched up with the Magic. Tough loss there. And in terms of intensity, they, they kind of took the night off. L looked like they were just going through the motion. Only surprise is that the margin wasn't greater. I mean, somehow they managed to hang around despite the lack of effort. Porter finds Young. To the inside. Tipped away. And out of bounds as the Bucks gain possession. So for the Bulls. Daniel Gafford's checked in for Carter. Markinen comes in for Young. And it's the chosen one in for Porter. Milwaukee also making some changes. Elias Sova's checked in, and it's Matthews in for Dante DiVincenzo. Now Hill, he's got 10, and there's the three-second call, this one on the defense. Hey, Greg, you played in a different era of NBA defense. When you look at how defense is played now in the league, how do you feel about it? 
you know, Kevin, I, I think the introduction of the zone, by and large, has been great. Uh, you, you get a lot more switching. Uh, and I think it brings more skill into the game. Don't, don't get me wrong. I, I do miss the physicality that we had back in the 90s. But I tell you what, right now, my body wishes I had the opportunity <laughs> to play in this era. I bet it does. Some changes for Chicago. Valentine comes in for Levine. And Chris Dunn subbed in for White. The box also changing it up. Williams comes in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. And it's Corver in for George Hill. Matthews dishes to Ilyasova. Kicks to Middleton. Back to Ilyasova. Matthews. No one around him. Offline with his three. You can't miss those, but even the best do on occasion. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. Bulls have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. At the line for the Bulls, two shots. That's good from the chosen one. Pat Connaughton, he's checked in for Milwaukee. Both free throws good from the chosen one. Milwaukee leading by four. Here's Connaughton. It's blocked. Now, here's Dunn. Passes it to the chosen one. Takes it up with both hands and rips it down. What unselfishness from the young guard, uh, Dunn. Uh, he's making more of an effort to, to distribute the ball. Here's the pass to Williams. Here's Connaughton. Dunn covering. And here's Matthews for the three. Hits it from three-point range. Not the biggest fan of that shot, but he had the space to get it off. So, so why not? Back to Dunn. Bulls moving the ball around. the chosen one and that one is hammered home and, and look at hanging in the air double pump and then throws it down and you see the d they just stepped aside <laughs> let him pick what kind of move he wanted to make wow outside corver outside matthews and that one goes long and guys, not sure where his head was on that shot. Not what this offense was designed to create. Come on, you can't be selfish. You got to be willing to make the next pass. Otherwise, it's just predictable. Some solid defense there from the chosen one. Bulls trail by three. Done. Wide open. He fires. 
Gafford passes to Dunn. Here's the chosen one. He's covered by Matthews. Just four to shoot. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Oh, the, the officials are all over that one. The Bulls have looked good at the line tonight. They're perfect in four attempts. At the line for the Bulls, two shots. That one is off. Sadoransky's checked in for the Bulls. And he sinks the second. Milwaukee in the lead. 132 left here in the first quarter. Left side, Corver. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. We know Carver is known for his lights out shooting ability. He's a long range bomber who continues to shoot at a high clip. Milwaukee shooting their second and third free throws tonight. The free throw drops for Carver. Both free throws good from Corver. Just solid. Really one of the very best there is at the free throw line. Here's the chosen one. He had 25 points last game. Here's Gafford. Matthews with the steal. To the middle. And now Williams running the floor all by himself. Well, Williams is a very smart player. He knows how to fill the lane in transition. Pass to Valentine. Here's the chosen one. He's got seven. Let's it fly. Gafford passes to the chosen one. Six on the shot clock. Second chance shot and foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. The Bulls have hit most of their free throws tonight. Five of six. He misses the free throw. And the second free throw, good. Here's Connaughton. No points in the game yet for him. Pass to Williams. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. Uh, when a pick like that is questionable and creates that much of an advantage for the offense, you have to blow the whistle. Yeah, you can't blame the ref for making that call at all. The defense in general is already at such a disadvantage as it is. And so Markinen will bring it up for the Chicago Bulls. It's a five-point game. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. Gafford misses. For Milwaukee, they've gone 8 of 14 from the field in the first quarter. Here's Connaughton. He's guarded by Markinen. Here's Williams. Right wing. Ilyasova. No one around him. That three off the mark. George Hill. He's been the guy making things happen for the Milwaukee Bucks. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. And we'll be right back after this. What's it like to play against Giannis Antetokounmpo? Here. He's seven foot and as fast as me. Giannis Greg leaving fans and players like Zach Levine in awe. I mean, six career MVPs is the league record held by Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Could Giannis possibly challenge that? And we resume our Valentine's Day broadcast. Glad to have you with us. 
when you consider how the Bucks are doing, what do you guys think? Well, in that first quarter, they, they were intent on just pounding the ball down low. Old school approach. I mean, if you have a favorable matchup inside, just keep pounding it in there. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade as the second quarter gets going. So the Bulls five right now. Valentine and Markinen, your small and power forwards. The chosen one out there with Thomas Sadaramski. And it's Gafford in at the five, roaming the paint. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sideline. Hi, guys. The chosen one in the last game against the Hawks had a very nice night. He tallied 25 points, and he was tremendous in the process, making a lot of free throws. That was just the latest in a string of very productive games for him. We'll see if he can keep this streak going, Kevin. Thanks, David. You know, GA, you wonder how much of that performance can carry over into this one. You never really know what will happen game to game, but I sure wouldn't bet against him. Yeah, well, he made it look easy last time out. I mean, he's in sync from the get-go. We'll see, though, if he can replicate that rhythm tonight. So Chicago ends up going with a new group. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Greg, one of your former teammates, John Starks, would get under a guy's skin on the court. He's like a nuisance, but really opposite off the floor, away from the game. I tell you, Kevin, John's got a heart of gold, and anybody that knows him is going to be a fan of the person. John is as good a friend as I can ever recall having. Hill passes to Ana Kumbo. Passes it to Middleton. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's on Thaddeus Young. Yeah, a determined shooter who excels at the charity stripe. Middleton will gladly head to the line. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. And really, from second round pick to all-star, Middleton's story, inspirational. Yet even now, it feels like some people continue to sleep on it. Middleton hits them both. And GA Chris Middleton over his career, much improved on the defensive end. A true two-way player. And I tell you, that 6'11 wingspan helps. Able to use that length to bother shots and disrupt passes. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. It's going to be young shooter. It goes on Giannis Antetokounmpo. And when you think about it, Thaddeus Young, he can be a thorn in the opposition side. He's just a great disruptor on defense. I mean, he has long arms, good timing to get those deflections. That free throw good from Thaddeus Young. And with Young, I mean, his game has evolved over the course of his career. Oh, think about it, G.A. When he came into the league, he was an up-and-down tweener. Oh, oh but did you see that? He's so strong. Giannis has really added some bulk since entering the league. Helps him absorb the contact. Outside, White. Back to Levine. There's the triple. Milwaukee with the rebound. Honda DeCumbo's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And boy, that looked like goaltending. Yes, it is. And so they will award the basket there. So close to getting the block there. You, you can live with those calls because you'd rather have a guy playing aggressive instead of playing it safe. Bulls trail by 12. Outside, Porter. Now the pass to Levine. Kept alive. Here's Carter. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. All right. He simply overpowers defenders when met with contact. I mean, 
Carter Jr. is tough as nails. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Now, Wendell Carter, a great young prospect for the Bulls. Kevin, he's seen steady improvement so far. They believe he'll be a factor for a long time. Hill kicks to Giannis. Loads it up for Giannis. Throws down the alley-oop slam. And one of the most athletic players in the league. Giannis makes those alley-oop jams look easy. And with Carter, they like that he's an impact player on both ends of the floor. Yeah, Gia, and on the offensive end, he's an underrated passer. I can see him taking more playmaking responsibility in the future. The ceiling on his skill set is very high. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Here's Giannis, and Antetokounmpo slams it in. And we talk about Antetokounmpo's all-around skills, and tonight it's been about the scoring. He's put this offense on his back. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. The last time these two clubs came together was also in this building with an unfortunate ending for the home team. Well, if they want to avoid the outcome of that first meeting, they'll need to be stronger on the glass. They were completely outmatched in the last one. They needed more fire and intensity tonight. Even if they don't win the battle of the boards, they have to put up a fight. Bulls making a switch here. Dunn's checked in. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Levine against DiVincenzo. Out to White. Back to Carter. Right side, Levine. Five to shoot. Sinks the three-pointer. And seven points for Otto Porter Jr. Embracing the opportunity to shoulder more offense. Porter, come on, you got to love the rise and fire attitude. Here's Giannis. And the dunk by Giannis. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. Hammering down the two-hand slam. Dunn dishes to Levine. And it was still over the rim. Offensive basket interference. Milwaukee leading by 10. Hill with it. He's got 10. Lopez outside. Porter against Giannis. Off target with the free throw line, Jay. Oh, their movement is good, and they get the ball into the right hand. Now, usually, he drops those in between jumpers. Pass to Levine. On deep. Milwaukee with the rebound. Giannis has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Here's DiVincenzo. Power down with both hands. I tell you, Antetokounmpo has evolved into one of the better passing forwards in our league. And when the defense is focused on you that much, you need to be able to find the open man. Porter, no luck. The D hanging tough and stopping what would normally have been easy play. Yeah, I mean, the ball handling and body control for a guy that's Giannis's height, it's really impressive. <laughs> Levine looking around. It's stolen by Hill. It's in, and he's a very efficient five for six on the game. Just no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make in the paint. Levine, the bounce pass. Outside, White. Done outside. Pass to Levine. And the drought. Rebounded by the Bucks. 
He's not using his head this quarter. He's got to get back to finding high percentage shots. And they double up on a Dekumbo. It's number nine to fall. He's only taken ten shots. Well, part of their game plan was to block out the noise and just stay focused. Their poise has been tremendous. Being excellent at both ends has them increasing this lead. Chicago calls timeout. Around the free agent race last year for your money, Greg, who would you have rather take? Kawhi and PG or Kevin Durant and Kyrie? Oh, wow. <laughs> I, I tell you what, it's, it's a I tough just, call, you know. That Kawhi's is, that is. got a couple finals MVPs. KD's got a couple. Kyrie's got a ring. I, it, it's a tough call. I mean, mm. PG is more than capable, man. I, I think it's a I think it's a toss-up, partner. I agree. Yeah, I'm going to agree with you. And dropping the sledgehammer there, he curbs a 10-0 run by the Bucks. And, and last year, Larry Markkinen was asked to change his style of play a bit. He did more spot-up shooting for the team. Yeah, and honestly, in my opinion, GA, it, it was a waste of what marketing can be. I mean, this kid can dunk on you inside, post up, face, get you in the triple threat, shoot the three off the spot up, and more so importantly, maybe even handle the ball. He can make players around him better. He has one of the quickest first steps to take guys off the dribble in the league for his size. I'd like to see him take greater advantage of his skill set. And that's 10 straight points in the paint. The defense, nowhere to be found. Sadaransky, the pass to the chosen. Oh, wow! wow. Nice! And Kevin, even though they're down, he's still looking to do the spectacular, and he did. Well, maybe this is the best time to do it. Williams kicks to Matthews. Passes to Corp from deep. The shot, no good. And in Chicago the other way, they're coming into this game off that recent loss to Atlanta. Yeah, I mean, in that one, you really saw a difference in aggression between the two teams, particularly on the board. Well, the rebounding numbers weren't even close. I mean, if that was a boxing match on the glass, they would have stopped that fight a long time ago. Shoots it. Markinen pulls it in. And if you ask me what percentage of the time he's making that shot, my answer. Oh. Now, once Sederansky sees the open man, he gives it away. He, he knows how to run an effective offense. Bucks leading by 13. Connaughton passes to Williams. Now, Corver lets it go with a three. Corver missing again. 46 seconds left to play in the first half. And the pass to the chosen one. The rebound by the Bucks. They led by as many as 18 points. And after this one, they're home against Minnesota. That'll be the first of two straight at home. No wasted trips at all. They're taking care of business at the line. The Bucks have gone a perfect seven of seven from the line tonight. And, and as a unit, they're shooting 78% from the line. That's a solid number to work with on the season. Shooting two. First free throw is good. Young's checked in for Daniel Gafford. And both free throws good for Ilyasova. We've got 28 seconds left in the second quarter. Here's the chosen one. That's in for his fifth make of the night. Now shooting at a 50% clip, five for 10. Oh man, what a smart feed for Markman. I mean, I'd like to see him do that more. Get his teammates involved. Here's Connaughton. It drops for his third basket. He's missed only one shot.
I mean, it took him a long time to get into the flow of the game, but the points are starting to come for him now. Throws it up high. And, and maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys on the bench. They are pumped up. There's Williams with the three. And no good on the last second attempt this time. And Thank you. Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. As we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group here. Daniel Gafford's checked in for Wendell Carter. Markkanen comes in for Young. The chosen one, he's checked in for Otto Porter Jr. And Chris Dunn subbed in for White. Wesley Matthews checked in for the Bucks. It's Anadokounmpo on the wing. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Giannis Antetokounmpo has said he doesn't want people calling him the MVP because he doesn't want to relax. He said he fears failure. So he has got to get better. And these are his second and third free throws tonight. And, and he buried a bunch of shots from the strike in that last game. And he makes the first. Well, Greg, there's been some debate. What do you think? Is Giannis the best player right now in the world? I tell you what, if there's a conversation, he has to be in it. You know, some people might go with Kawhi, Kevin Durant. He's coming back. LeBron James is there as well. But Giannis is probably the guy to lead that conversation. Both free throws good from Anadokounmpo. You know, we always talk about what a rare talent Giannis is. And it's true. Uh, unrivaled athleticism and versatility. Setting the floor for the Bucks, Matthews and Middleton, the two wing. Then it's George Hill. And then there's Antetokounmpo. And it's Ilyasova in at the center position. Over in the corner, Matthews takes a three. Good. And it's Giannis picking up the assist. Giannis has got his fourth assist in this one. And here's Levine, who brings it up for the Chicago Bulls, trailing by 10. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Well, the Bulls have a new front office, branching out from the Nuggets Brain Trust with new team president. Given Denver's success identifying and developing young talent with a win percentage that's climbed year after year, there is at least some optimism that the Bulls will be able to build a similar and sustainable winning program. Guys? Wouldn't that be a story? Thank you, David. Levine against Middleton. Here's the chosen one. He's got 15. And it is flushed down with a nice jam. I mean, he's just been brilliant today, guys. And it was the same exact story last time out. Back to Giannis. And Giannis throws it down. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. Levine against Zanadokounmpo. The chosen one passes to Levine. Six to shoot. Poked away. Matthews with it. Now guarded by Dunn. Matthews gets it to go. Matthews has got five points now in the quarter. His individual effort has been outstanding tonight, and it's helped him grab the lead. Here's the chosen one. Some solid defense from Anadokounmpo. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Yep, that one goes in there. Middleton's got five points so far. And with great positional size, Milton knows how to do damage down low. 
The chosen one passes to Gafford. And another turnover here by Chicago. Soransky's checked in for the Bulls. And Milwaukee also making a switch. Corver's checked in. And a chance there to look back at the stunning mobile one block a moment ago. E emphatic with the rejection. You've got to appreciate that kind of forceful defense. Saturansky against Hill. With the teardrop, got a hand on it. Saturansky with it, out guarded by Giannis. Markinen, the shot's good on the assist by Saturansky. Saturansky's got three assists in the game. On to Kumbo against Markinen. Giannis kicks to Corbin. to Matthews for the three. Markinen pulls it in. Markinen's got rebound number five here tonight. Down low. And the layup's good off the glass. And he found the soft spot in the D on that possession. There's a minute left in the third quarter. Giannis against Markinen. And Giannis throws it down. In the long strides of Antetokounmpo, once he gets downhill, there's almost no stopping him. Sadoransky, the pass to Levine. Here's Gaffer, covered by Giannis. Four on the clock. How's that for an answer? Right back with the dunk. He just punched the ticket on that one. That'll get the job done. Powerful two and jam. Milwaukee leading by 12. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Man, with that skill set at 6'11, Giannis might be the toughest guard in the league. He's made two of his three attempted tonight. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Uh, that's what they want to see from him, attacking, getting whistles, and, and maybe causing some foul trouble. So for the Bulls, Wendell Carter, he's checked in for Daniel Gafford. Porter comes in for Lowry Markinen, and it's Valentine in for Zach Levine. And both free throws good for Giannis. Bulls trail by 14. Outside, Porter. Pass to the chosen one. Rebounded by Corver. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Onto the Kumbo, no good. And so it's Milwaukee sitting with a comfortable lead up by 14. What a night they've had in terms of their shooting. Everything dropping in for them. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. Let's listen in on what Mike Budenholzer had to say to his team in the huddle. Scored again for this quarter, 0-0. Zero, zero. checked in for Denzel Valentine. Milwaukee also making some changes. Lopez, he's checked in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. And Wesley Matthews subbed in for Kyle Korf. Young and Carter are the big men inside. White is out there with the chosen one. And it's Porter at the small forward position. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. And here is DiVincenzo. Defensive work there by Young. 
He's been off the mark, but somehow he hasn't held them back as a team. Passes it to the chosen one. Lopez over to help. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. And last season, we saw the NBA All-Star Game introduce the Elam ending, a target score, Greg, to end the game, and instead of running out the clock, did you like that, and would you widen its use? And no question, it's being looked at it maybe for overtimes or, or tournament games. You know, Adam not shy about exploring new ideas. And I got to be honest, going into the All-Star game, I wasn't a fan of the proposed changes. Me too. But once you saw it all play out, I have to say I was entertained. And, and I applaud the commissioner and the players in the league for buying in. And I think the fan experience was made all the more better. Good point. Bucks leading by 15. Inside. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. And that's now 18 points for Wesley Matthews. Man, he is just really in a flow right now. That field goal percentage has gone through the roof. And the rebound goes to Lopez. By himself, and Matthews throws it down. You gotta love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. And how about then not settling? I mean, instead of being lazy with the shot selection, they go right to the rim. Here's the chosen one. He's covered by Matthews. Oh, and he takes it right at the man who just scored on him. That's the way to answer back with an in-your-face stuff. Here's DiVincenzo. It's all in by the Bulls. Carter's got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's the chosen one. And he takes the feed and stride and slams it home. Like the show of unselfishness from Porter. Wanting to improve as a passer and hit his open teammates. DiVincenzo passes to Lopez. White against DiVincenzo. Banked in off the glass. And the Bucks lead by 17. He's been a different player since halftime. Coming on strong now. Here's the chosen one. He's covered by Matthews. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Wesley Matthews picks one up. Two shots. That's good from the chosen one. Antetokounmpo's checked in for the Bucks. Hill comes in for Wesley Matthews. All three throws good from the chosen one. Here's Giannis. And he comes up with the deuce. Andre DeCumbo's got 34 points. And I really marvel at the touch of Andre DeCumbo for his size and physique. That's incredible. And it's in there. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. Yeah, that's why he's hot. He's playing with a lot of confidence. That's why they're going to him with such consistency. Hill, the open look. Carter pulls it in. Bulls trail by 15. Here's the chosen one. And Middleton with the block. Hill with it. And Young picks him up defensively. Middleton for three. He can't get it to go. Now Chicago takes it the other way. Here's the chosen one. Can't cash in from close range. And here's Hill, who will bring it up for the Bucks. Earlier in the game, they had a 19-point lead. And this is what they wanted. I mean, to announce their presence in this matchup with authority. Very decisive. It can definitely be considered a statement win for the Bucks. And guys, the fast break was run, I thought, beautifully all night by these guys. I think that was a big part of their success. Yeah, they definitely ran the break well. A big advantage in that category. And they continually put pressure on the defense. And so all the hard work here tonight converted into a tally in the win column. It'll be number 26 on the year. And once they polish off this win, they'll be one more victory away from sweeping the season series. And, you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Giannis Antetokounmpo. He hung a big number on the scoreboard, and it wasn't just because he was hot. He did it with movement and tenacity. They just blocked out the noise, kept on grinding, and this is their reward.
showing remarkable poise and focus uh, throughout the game. A sustained effort across the board. Guys, they can just sit on the ball here if they want to. That they have earned this win. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. And the basket by Hill. And credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. Yeah, I love how they play for one another out there. No signs of selfishness. They're just a total team effort. And it's Carter missing. So no problem for Milwaukee as they get the win. To come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. I, I guess they don't need home cooking. <laughs> they play at home. I mean, Kevin, just a masterful performance all the way around. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Chris Weber, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. So long, everyone.